Alright guys, what you're looking at is uh, just some of the raw materials I'm going to be using for the next project of mine. Uh, a number of years ago I had made a blowgun out of paper. Uh, good idea, looked fine, shot fine. The problem was, well, it was paper. It didn't last very long. Uh, it sat in my closet for a good part of two or three years. Hadn't used it since. And you can get a whole lot of power with it because the length of it meant that I had to make uh, the blowgun out of several sheets of paper and that caused uh, air sealing issues. So now I'm just going to build one out of this uh, half inch diameter PVC pipe and uh, instead of just putting a mouthpiece on this and calling it a day, I got some uh, black and red colored copy paper. Now this is just you know, normal printer stuff. Uh, the stuff I happened to get was a 24 pound red color and then a 67 pound black, that's all they had. But just any color would actually do. The poundage doesn't quite matter in this one. And what I'm gonna do with it is I am going to scale it in a black and red theme in a manner something like this. Except imagine this on a, uh, on a tube instead of the back side of, you know, a sword. Well, I'm going to get started on building the pieces I need to make the scales. This is going to take me a very, very long time. Alright, back in. Haven't done a whole lot, but what I have done is uh, taken just a water bottle and cut off the, the cap piece, as you can see and just simply rolled some paper and pressure fitted this thing to the tube. This is going to be the mouthpiece and uh, this is those triangles I was talking about. I've got uh, a bunch of these in red and I'm pretty much going to use this and make scales on this entire thing. This is a three foot section of uh, PVC pipe. Um, probably not going to record me uh, scaling this whole thing. I already have another tutorial up on that. I'll put a link in the description. You can go check that out. Uh, pretty much the same principle. Now I've got all the lines and everything measured out for where these are going to line up so this is gonna, probably going to take me a while so I'm going to cut the camera right here and get back to it once I'm done with this. Alright so this is what the finished product looks like. This is cut from a uh, bottle of water, or water bottle, and just simply pressure fitted onto the PVC pipe. Uh, this, the, P the diameter PVC pipe, I believe it's about 7 eighths inch. I think I may have said uh, half inch earlier, but that was incorrect. Uh, because of that though, 7 eighth inch diameter PVC pipe. The inner diameter of this is about 0.6, so that makes this a 60 caliber blowgun. The problem is that they don't make 60 caliber blowgun ammo. They only come in uh, 0.625 or 0.5 and 0.4. So you got 40, 50, and then 625 caliber. That's an odd number, but so you can't buy ammo for this thing. So you have no choice but to make your own ammo. Now the two darts I like to fire out of this thing are the ones I made with is what two and a half inch framing nails, roofing nails, and then this one made from an 18 gauge uh, wire nail. Of course, there's a lot of tutorials out there on how to do darts like these, so I'm not going to bother with one. But figured may as well. What the heck? I've made paper blowguns in the past. Why not make one out of PVC? So here's what the handful of darts looks like. Now you'll notice that this blowgun does not have a quiver built onto the gun itself. Uh, that is rather unfortunate because of the way I did the um, scaling on this is that there simply isn't a way to actually put one on there without making it look really, really bad. So I opted not to. So instead, I'm gonna build just a little container that I can dump all these darts into and then just call it a day. That's gonna be a separate video. Well, 
leave a comment below, tell me what you think. Um, should I, should I not make another one for a tutorial? There's like a bajillion of these plugin tutorials out there on YouTube anyways, I don't really see the point to, but if you guys want to see my take on it, why not?